Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, God is Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Scorpios, you are up, so this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, Scorpio, Cusp Babies, North Node, if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Scorpio in your chart, and you're not dealing with anybody that has Scorpio in their chart, maybe there are some messages in this video for you as well. Um, Cusp Babies, I'm including you in my readings as well. And then uh, if you were guided to this video and you don't have Scorpio in your chart, you're not dealing with anybody that has Scorpio in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Uh, cross watchers, of course there's going to be messages in this video for you if you're dealing with somebody that has Scorpio in the reading. Keep in mind that these can also be vice versa readings. It does not necessarily have to be something that resonates with you. It could be something that your masculine, your feminine is dealing with, the karmic, um, the soulmate. If there's family and friends situations that you're aware of, you could be pulling their energy as well to get messages to assist them in a certain situation um, or, uh, as well, okay? So keep in mind, if you're new to my channel, I do give messages to the collective before I do give my reading. So if you're pressed on time, you can always go down to the comment section of the video or go directly to the beginning, um, to go directly to the beginning of the reading if you're pressed on time, if you don't want to hear me talk. Moving forward, if you do use your free will to state that I talk too much, I will um, block you and you will not be able to come back on my channel. One of the gifts that I do uh, have is clear audience so I do have music in the background so clear audience is going to be very significant <clears throat> with shifting everybody's consciousness and awareness and that's one reason why the the elite controls the uh, entertainment business so much when it comes to anything that produces sound vision um, to allow us to activate certain things that's in our blueprint to make us remember who we are so we can get out of this matrix and start completing the message that um, that we were destined to complete um, for our souls and our spirits. So if you are um, come to my channel, I am a totally different reader than everybody else. I put the everything together. I do the big picture. Um, so again, if there are certain songs that you hear in the background, it could be significant to your journey. It could be something that was from the past to help you remember something that you need to heal from the past or just put certain puzzle pieces together. If it's present moment, that again, helping you with certain things that's going on. And then also could be something that's later on. And if it's something later on, um, you'll, you know, remember and revert back to any time that you just rem hear that song, you're going to revert back to this reading. And then you're going to be like, okay, certain things are getting ready to start in my life um, are the people that's around my life uh, because this song was in that reading. Okay. So you'll start understanding how you can give messages uh, from your uh, divine feminine, your divine masculine, you know, karmic soulmates, everybody complete, uh, uh, participates when it comes to Claire Audiency. Uh, so certain songs that's in the background could be very significant to you. The song that's on right now is R. Kelly, Put My T-Shirt On um, by R. Kelly. Okay, so that could be significant to you Scorpios. I know y'all Scorpios is freaks. <laughs> and I'm just telling you, I know I had, I, just I know, <laughs> I know that Scorpios are freaks, okay? And I mean not freaks like, you know, yeah, because you could be, y'all have a shot, a shadow side, a dark side. Y'all have a little bit of gloominess about yourself too. So there could be some people that, you know, there's everybody that has, regardless of what zodiac that you are, that has, you know, the weird people, the people that are, you know, um, the black sheep and so on. But I mean, freaks as far as sexual energy. Okay. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, so for this song to come on and it just brought me to, 
thinking about Scorpios with y'all being emotional. Y'all are very um, passionate people. Um, y'all, you know, wear your slow, to, your your emotions on your sleeve. Um, and then when somebody does scar you and burn you, again, like they say, that's that's that saying, um, don't make a scorpion mad because they will sting the shit out you. And that's a that's a life death situation. Okay, um, so. Let's go ahead and get started. As far as the energy, it is Gemini season. So that's that um, mental energy um, as far as blue energy. So make sure that you are doing the things that you need to do as far as when it comes to taking care of your mental space. Again, this blue here is like a turquoise. Yeah, it's like a turquoise. Just notice that. Indian color cards. Okay, I see what's going on here. My ancestors just gave me a message. Um, hmm. I'll make sure that I'll that message was for me. Um, but okay, let's get started as far as the cards that I have is the modern witch deck. And they made me like really pay attention to the cards and what's on the cards. I see keys here. Okay, so significant at keys could be significant to somebody. There's swords on these the, the cards. There's the pentagram, two cups. W's and then an M. Ace of Wands. Four hands. Two diamonds. Hmm. Okay. They are giving me some crazy messages while I um listen doing y'all's reading, and I'm sorry y'all, but I had this is how I communicate with my ancestors, and then also like certain people that are part of y'all's family member that uh, have extended um soul. Okay, so what one thing that they want me to tell you is that whenever you your family members, your loved ones cross over. They're fighting their own journey as far as when it comes to helping you and assisting you, especially let's say if you're a twin flame, a twin ray, a divine partner, a life partner, you're granted access to your ancestors different than other people that's not on the same journey as you because you are a part of something big that you're not aware of. And that's one reason why in the Bible, they make you say that you, in the Bible, they say you don't have a soulmate. You don't come here with a soul because they're already pushing you off your journey um, because your journey means so much more and you're really a chosen person and they're wanting me to tell you that. Um, there is some soulmates that are completing in this reading, uh, in these journey too because of how long we've been fighting this masculine, this feminine journey. But let me go back to your ancestors that's on the other side. So they're working and they're completing their missions too. Once you cross over, you don't automatically gain consciousness of who you are and, and you know, start remembering everything. They still have a level of them going to their awareness and them remembering what's going on and why they're here and why they, you know, passed away. And so they're trying to put that, you know, those clues together. Um, but also on the other side, helping you and seeing what you're going through. And then also fighting any dignities and demons that are trying to latch onto your energy. So your ancestors... Um, meet other people that are fighting the same battle that they're fighting that allow your ancestor, like for example, people that's watching this video, your grandmother, your grandfather, your aunt, your uncle that's on the other side can get in touch with my grandmother, my aunt, my uncle. And if they say certain things to my grandmother, my grandma is going to allow them to pass through because my grandmother is my, you know, my my guardian and there's other people that's my guardians that I know that I trust the most so do you see how they bridge this bridge with people even on the other side to be a part of your soul tribe so there are certain messages that they're wanting me to tell you and explain how certain things work you know 3d even in the 5d realms the spiritual realms and so on um, so they're still fighting the journey. They're still battling certain things that they were even trying to help you when they were in the 3d um, and now they're in the 5d 
in the 60 in the 70 realms and they're still assisting you okay is what i'm uh, they're wanting me to tell you so let's go ahead and get started uh scorpios um if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks that i use in my readings they're available in the description box i also have my uh amazon store if they're per available for you to purchase on amazon they will be on amazon energy healing crystal stones different things like that for your enlightenment your growth your transformation your protection okay um this main deck we will cut and shuffle the cards on camera okay the other cards have already been shuffled in your energy we will cut them on camera pandora is in the background a list of different shuffles um of a uh, shuffle of different uh, stations that i have saved underneath my pandora the song that's on right now is dancing with the stranger by sam smith and no no i want to say it's naomi Norman, Normani, Normani probably. Now Boys by Lizzo is on. I just want to freak you. I told you, Scorpios, y'all some freaky individuals. You know, I know I have me some past life, you know, Scorpios in my lifetime. And, you know, I had some Scorpios in this lifetime. So I know, trust me, okay? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, Scorpio, Cusp Babies, North Node, Goddesses video, if you don't have Scorpio in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Scorpio in their chart. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle it three more times. This next time, what's ever at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to use it as part of your energy. We have the Ace of Wands. Wow, and it's crazy because on the back of the deck, there is Ace of Wands. But what's funny to me is the color of the hand of the Ace of Wands. So... Again, my ancestors are giving me certain um, messages that I need to help them understand as far as when it comes to uh, certain things that took inspired with the witches back in the days as far as Salem and all that stuff. I'm gaining information from that. And so I see back here where there's mountains, where there are pyramids. And I know back in the day, the mountains used to be pyramids. And, and things like that as far as when it comes to the land. Um, so I'm, I'm paying attention to certain messages that they're giving me as far as also the messages that they're giving you, Scorpios. And I just want to share certain things because it could be significant to you. And like I just explained earlier, there could be certain uh, bridges that have been put together as far as when it comes to certain ancestors and so on to give certain messages okay um but the ace of wands represents energy as far as a spark this represents energy as far as inspiration so starting something brand new okay um this also represents energy as far as being dominant so using more of your masculine energy in order for you to conquer in order for you to complete certain things regardless if that's projects if this is you moving forward and gaining your confidence gaining your inspiration you know you being ambitious um you just being adventurous um scorpios are cross watchers who's ever watching this video this represents energy as far as, you know, um, taking action. So I feel that 
Scorpios, you could be taking action if this is not you. This could be your masculine, your feminine. Could be taking action on wanting to start a brand new beginning as far as when it comes to a relationship between you and them. This also represents that sexual energy. That come on, come on, come on, come on. Sexual healing. Hey, sexual healing. It's good for me. <laughs> I hear that person saying some stuff like this. Whoever's coming to you, this person got a mouthpiece on them, okay? And they finna talk you out your panties, and I'm telling you right now, okay? They're gonna talk you out your panties. And it's funny how this card, those cards just flipped over, but I just saw the Ten of Swords, but I'm not gonna let that be. We're gonna keep going. Some meditation music is on right now. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. And this person has... Wow. Wow. Okay, the Devil card. Told you they're going to talk you out your panties. <laughs> We have the ace of cups but you you loving it scorpios you gonna go for it because y'all gonna have some some not take sex and it's gonna be some apologies and like oh baby i love you and oh my goodness i just saw uh backwards cowgirl and and all this other stuff this is crazy okay okay uh yeah somebody's possibly fenced to get knocked up and pregnant too okay 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 um we have the nine of pentacles coming out this represents energy as far as virgo this also came out in my reading that i just did which was my pisces reading so this represents energy as you know planting one seed um you know planting your seeds water them watch wa watering i can't even speak watering them and watching them grow so let's say if you had certain ideas certain seeds that you you planted in the past you've been nurturing you've been doing the things that you need to do in order for them to come to full harvest some of y'all could be reaping the benefits from you know the things that you have started in the past and now it's the time for you to get you know the abundance from what it is that you started is what i'm getting so i feel that some of y'all have a big money game that's coming some money is coming to you as far as an opportunity um this represents energy as far as also investing so this person is wanting to invest in a relationship with you scorpios or scorpios you're wanting to invest in a relationship with this person you already feel like you planted your seed um as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them so you feel that you already you know there could have been years there could have been time there could have been money there could have been finances energy that has been put into this relationship where you this person or you scorpio feel that you have done enough in order to keep this relationship going or again start starting um starting up a new spark as far as when it comes to the energy between um two individuals and i feel the way that y'all are going to be going this, with this by, about this is sexual energy and then also expressing your 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 emotions you have um, I don't see anything bad about this spread right now, even with this devil card being here, because I understand when it's the feminine and masculine energy, you're bonded to this person. Even if it's a same sex relationship, there's always one person that has more, um, you know, masculine or feminine in their, their chart. Um, but I feel that this is a connection that was, you know, could have had, you know, a lot of toxic situations again one person being more in their dark side one person being more in their light side you know y'all both you know being toxic for one another but at the same time i feel that these two individuals know that they're bound by each other and i feel that they're bound by love okay by love you're bound by this person by love and this person truly loves you with the ace of cups coming out this represents energy as far as joy as well as happiness so this person sees true happiness and joy with you okay they also see you as a friend as well as a lover so this represents energy as far as somebody giving their cup not giving their cup to multiple people not giving their cup to multiple you know, women or multiple men um you know just this one cup and there this one cup is what they're wanting to give it to you and so this represents energy as far as water so cancer pisces as well as scorpio 
um, Let It Go by Keisha Cole is on right now. So that could be significant to um, you. Scorpios are uh, the person that's watching this reading. We also have the devil card here, which represents Capricorn. So this represents energy as far as temptation as well as bondage. So in the past, there could have been somebody that was more on their dark side, their shadow side. They could have been more on the one that was more in their toxic energy, or they could have had people that was around them that were put in y'all's blueprint to um, bring delays, cause one person to be more in toxic energy, um, cause the other person to... Um, let's let's say when you you see when it's when you're involved in these twin flames twin rays divine partner life partner uh relationships even soulmate relationships anything that has to do with love let's let me just say it that way okay there's always going to be karmic family members there's always going to be karmic family uh family members as well as friends as well as karmic lovers that are put in your blueprint to bring destructions to the masculine and the feminine's relationship and their mission okay um so i feel that some of y'all possibly had toxic friends or family members that possibly were you know keeping this person more in their shadow side keeping this person more attached to let's say if it was drugs alcohol lust codependencies you know pumping up this person's ego they're you know um you know making this person be more prideful with them denying their emotions because i feel that this person really loved you and they possibly could have expressed this i feel some this was expressed to this karmic or they it was expressed to these family and family and friends and again they um didn't want you to see this person with you they didn't want you to be with this person Is what I'm hearing. Some of them were involved with, again, toxic individuals as far as a lover, a karmic. They could have been also addicted to sex, um, sexual energy, sexual demons, you know, more, again, on their pride, their lust. There could have been alcohol, drugs that could have been involved that caused this person to be sneaky, caused them to be mistrusting, um, as well as what I'm getting from this. But this person is coming in, and like I told you, somebody's going to talk somebody off their draws, and y'all finna have some naughty hot sex i told you backwards cowgirl a lot of riding um is is what i see as far as when it comes to this relationship between you and them and i feel like somebody's gonna have a baby this person's gonna get somebody knocked up you do have this page of cups here as representation of a child so you have the queen of cups coming out and this represents energy as more as water energy so cancer pisces as well as scorpio so you're in your element scorpio you and this person are really going to be expressing this to yourself y'all are really going to be um talking and opening up and really admitting y'all's true feelings when the queen of cups comes out this represents energy as far as being caring being nurturing being charming this person sees you as somebody that has a big heart or you see your masculine your feminine as somebody that has a big heart um this person is going to be very honest you could be a psychic you can be somebody that's very empathic i see mermaids here because so mermaids can be very significant to you um is what i'm hearing um that turquoise color is popping out in these water cards as well but this represents energy as far as with the page of cups more water cancer pisces as well as scorpion Scorpio, somebody coming in with an apology so this was apology that possibly was you know overdue is what i'm hearing an overdue apology that this person is going to be uh, bringing you but this person is wanting to be kind again they're being charming this person is being generous with their heart and you're being generous with your heart and like i told you y'all are expressing you know y'all's love for one another you have the hermit card so this represents virgo Oh my gosh, Unchill by uh Jer featuring Jeremiah with Wale. Wale Wale is on right now. You have Temperance card coming out and this card came out in my Pisces reading as well. You have the Hierophant card this came out in my Pisces reading as well. Um wow, a lot of major arcana cards coming out, okay? And this is letting me know that this person went through a major transformation. So again, there was toxic energy that was involved. This person could have been somebody that was out in the club. Again, lustful, having multiple women, uh, multiple men. 
Um, this represents energy as far as the hermit. So it represents soul searching, okay? You taking the time that you need that to, in order for you to gain the mental clarity that you need in order for you to move forward. So if it requires for you to detach yourself from family and friends, you know, detach yourself from your old, you know, negative characteristics, I feel that this person was doing that. They possibly had to detach themselves from toxic family members, toxic friends. Um, if your ancestors are pushing you to do that, Scorpio, our cross watchers, they're telling you to do that for a reason. The Hermit card also represents gaining energy as far as the guidance. So your ancestors, your higher self working, guiding you, you gaining your inner wisdom, becoming that logical thinker. So I feel that, that this person had time to think about, you know, their action, their toxic ways. If there was toxic people that they were involved, if they were more, you know, on, you know, devilish energy or negative energy, they're aware of that. But this person is having a rebirth about themselves or you're having a rebirth about yourself, Scorpios. You have temperance here. This represents um, Sagittarius. So this represents experimenting with one's self. So doing the things that you need to do as far as healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally, going through the troubling times in order for you to heal yourself to get there and balance with that true balance, if you understand what I'm saying. So this person is coming in and they're wanting to compromise. This also represents energy as far as having that realization. So this person had that aha moment that needed a epiphany. Okay. This person had an epiphany. Okay. Um, as far as when it comes to, you know, how they feel about you, how much they really love you, how, you know, they need to, you know, possibly, you know, release certain characteristics about themselves that's causing y'all, you know, to bring delays as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them. But this person is coming in wanting to give you this commitment. This represents energy as far as Taurus. So this represents energy as far as gaining the divine wisdom um, in order for, like I said, somebody to make a decision. So I feel that this person's ancestors, their higher self is really pushing them to express themselves how they, they really care. And then also let go of certain characteristics about themselves that's no longer ser serving them. So this higher fin card, there's some keys that's at the bottom. This represents energy as far as your belief system. So some of y'all could be, you know, letting go of religious beliefs and becoming more spiritual is what I'm hearing. Um, you know, uh, there could have been also, again, authority figures, like let's say a mom or father that could have been a karmic um, soulmate or a karmic um, relationship that you could have been holding this person back because I feel that there was some type of influence and it had to be like a mother influence or a father influence or like an aunt or uncle okay or there could have been morals that you and this person had that was different when y'all were a child that could have also been something that caused issues in y'all's relationship the song that's on right now is who can I run to by escape Okay, um, we have the sun card. Yes, this person is in love with you. This person sees a brand new beginning. All these major arcana cards coming out. This is something that the universe destined to happen. You and this person were destined to, 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 to be together. Sunflowers could be very significant because you have sunflowers here. And then you also have sunflowers there. So this person is coming in on their horse. They're coming in. They're wanting to cel celebrate. This also represents a job promotion um, as well. So this represents playfulness, more sexual energy, gaining clarity in a certain situation. This also represents energy as far as personal growth. Um, so again, more masculine energy, regardless if you're feminine or masculine, being more in your masculine energy, this Gemini energy is going to be, um, Gemini, you know, is the twin. So it's more your, their dark side, your shadow side, um, you know, your light side. Then you also have the, you know, the, okay. Don't psych yourself out. Scorpio is what I'm hearing. Don't psych yourself out. Somebody is trying to psych themselves out on if they can really have this brand new beginning with this person. Okay, um, this represents energy as far as being thankful. So being thankful for your new life, being thankful for this brand new beginning, being thankful for this new opportunity that you have with this commitment with this other person is what I'm getting. Yeah, two complete, two, this is a mutual agreement, a mutual um, between two people, okay? So you have the two of cups coming out. This represents harmony as well as marriage, mutual respect. So two people agreeing on their feelings for one another, having some 
you know, some naughty sex, some some real passionate naughty sex, some spanking going on, you know, some chains and whips is what I'm hearing um, between you and this person, okay? Um, but this person is coming in with this apology. They see you as the one, okay? Yeah, they're getting ready to take this brand new beginning. Wow, this is a this is the best reading that I have had in a long, 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 long time. Okay, a long time. And I just see two people having to go through, you know, possibly, you know, the devil in order for them to be in this relationship with one another is what I'm getting. But this is a brand new beginning. So you have, you, let me just, so you have again, the hermit card, which is Virgo. You have Sagittarius here, which is temperance. You have the Hierophant card, which is Taurus. You have the Sun card, which represents fire. So that's Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. It represents Leo. And then you have the Fool card, which represents Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. It represents um, Virgo as well. So this is somebody taking this brand new, this leap of faith, wanting to start this brand new beginning. This represents energy as far as new beginnings. It represents having a fresh start. Somebody being very open-minded. In the past, they could have been somebody that was simple-minded. This person could have been somebody that procrastinated a lot. Um, again, we're not, you know... Being reckless, being irresponsible is what I'm hearing as far as this person's behavior. But now this person is seeing new perspectives as far as when it comes to the journey between you and them. And they're willing to take that leap. And they're wanting to take that leap of faith with you, Scorpio. Okay. That's Facts by DJ Charisma. Yeah, the six of wands. So this came out in my Pisces reading as well. So this person is sees victory with you. This also represents energy as far as um, social acceptance. So there could be, you know, a post on Facebook and, you know, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever it is that you're in as far as your platform where this person could be saying, expressing themselves about how they love you, how you help them get through toxic situation, their dark side, their shadow side, um, you know, them being thankful for you coming in their life. They see victory with you is what I'm hearing. And I feel that somebody's going to be giving somebody some type of praise as far as them, you know, expressing themselves uh, about that's how you make them feel. Um, this also represents energy as far as your haters. So you are going to have your haters. So, you know, your haters from the Himalaya, you know, they always going to hate on. So don't, you know, don't overlook them. Okay. Overlook them. Don't let them stop you from your happiness because I feel that this is true, Ali, a, a new beginning between two individuals. And there is going to be some people that's going to be jealous. And this could be exes. This could be, again, family and friends that don't want to see you happy as well. Okay. So if this person is coming back from your past, what are they bringing you? You have the seven. Um, you have the, the uh, star card being reversed. So this represents energy as far as Aquarius, um, as far as the star card. But when it's reversed, it represents energy as far as loss in relationships. Um, so how I was saying earlier, there probably could be a karmic or soulmate that could be hating because they um, ending a relationship with this person. This person that they were involved with could have been somebody that was very tox toxic. Um, they could have been, you know, a, a attached to this person by, you know, toxic things. It could have been drugs, alcohol, sexual addictions, a black magic spell work could have been involved as far as when it comes to this relationship as well. So I'm not going to leave you out, leave that out. Um, with the star card being reversed, this also represents energy as far as um, physical as well as mental illness. So they could have been dealing with somebody that was physically ill or mentally ill. Um, this could have been also something that you were going through, Scorpio, or your masculine, your feminine was going through too. I feel that somebody was dealing with somebody that was a like a, a, a succubus or an incubus and they were draining their energy. And this could have been bisexual um, you know, intercourse if this person was involved with somebody that was like that as well. Um, but I do feel draining of energy that was involved. So this person knows that they were not balanced with themselves mentally, physically, as well as emotionally in the past. 
Um, and they know that that was causing delays as far as when it comes to this relationship, because again, they were more in the negative energy. You have the hermit car coming out twice. So yeah, both of y'all doing soul searching, both of y'all doing the things that you needed to do. Again, there could have been distance between this relationship, no communication between you and this person. But I feel that both of y'all have been doing the things that you need to do and have been healing. Y'all are both thinking logically now. Y'all are both being guided by, you know, your higher self, your ancestors to admit y'all's true feelings for one another is what I'm I'm hearing are giving each other the opportunity to take this leap of faith on this new journey with one another is what I'm hearing. So this is something, um, so you have again, Virgo here. So this could be two Virgos, um, or you could have Virgo in your chart. You could be a Scorpio slash Virgo. If I'm right. Oh, I did not even say the cuss signs. Did I Dang it? Okay. So Libra slash Scorpio, October the 19th through October the 25th. And then Scorpio, Slash Sagittarius, November the 18th and November the 25th. I forgot about that. I do apologize, cuss babies. Okay, but you can have Virgo in your chart or this person can have a lot of Virgo in their chart. But I, if you don't have Virgo in your chart, I just see both of y'all doing the healing that you're needing to do. Distance yourself from family and friends. Having that me time. And again, while you're having that me time, it's causing you to go through this transformationing, going through this major spiritual awakening because all these major arcana cards that's out here, okay? You have the devil card. So yes, definitely matching energy. Matching energy for sure. Look at that. Somebody also could have been dealing with somebody that was very toxic. And this person could have been trying to keep this person um, trapped. Because she looks like a witch, you know. Could have been keeping this person trapped. Okay. In illusions, sexual fantasies, addictions. Since you've been away by um, Ball Greasy, Aww. since you've been away, I've been thinking of you. And again, I told y'all, y'all have been separated and this person cannot get you off their mind. They can't get you off of their mind. Okay. Honeymoon. So this is escaping away from something, distancing yourself from a situation that's no longer serving you. And I feel that somebody's distancing themselves from devilish energy, negative energy, regardless if this is a karmic family, friends, certain addictions, um, characteristics about oneself. They're escaping themselves from those things that are no longer serving them. This also represents energy as far as going towards so a marriage proposal, um, you know, escaping with the person that you love, enjoying the, the blitz of holiday time together. So the next holiday are, um, could be very significant between you and your, your divine feminine, your divine masculine is what I'm getting. But somebody could be also planning their honeymoon, planning their wedding. Let go of control issues. So yeah, this person had to let go of controlling issues. If this was pride, ego, if it was certain addictions like drugs, alcohol, codependencies. Again, if there was a mother or um, a role model that was um, holding this person back is what I'm hearing. Somebody, and, and I feel like there was a mother's influence or a father's influence um, as far as when it comes to this person's decisions that they were making when it comes to their divine feminine, their divine masculine, okay? So it says, allow this situation to unfold naturally, letting your higher self, your ancestors, the universe to assist you, not controlling things, okay? So this person possibly had a bad controlling problem or you had a bad controlling problem, um, Scorpios. Uh, love faces by Trey Song is right is on and this person loves to see, you know, the faces that you make as far as when y'all have, you know, sex is what I'm hearing. Your love faces, this represents children. So again, I could, um, earlier how I was saying that there could have been different uh, morals as far as a child, um, the ways that y'all grew up could have been uh, different um, between you and your masculine, your feminine. This also represents energy as far as childish behavior. So there was a lot of childish behavior, especially with all this devilish energy that was coming on. So this could have been reckless behavior, childish behavior from a karmic, a, a soulmate, a baby mother, a baby father. Again, the mother of their child, the father of their child, or this could have been their physical mother or their physical father. Somebody was be acting very childish as far as when it comes to keeping somebody stuck and keeping somebody trapped. Making love faces, making love faces. A baby's coming out of them love faces. Somebody's gonna get knocked up and have a baby. A. Hey. <laughs> 
your love life is being affected by children so again there could be some children children that's involved as far as with the situation is what i'm getting somebody could have also been keeping somebody trapped because they could have been a mother of the child the father of the child and they could have been using children to keep this person stuck in a certain situation is what i'm hearing as well you have unexpected income and it's reversed. So some of y'all could have been having issues as far as when it comes to your finances. There could be finances that are going to be lost. But unexpected income, how I said earlier, planting your seeds. Those seeds that you planted are finally harvesting. So you're reaping the benefits from the things that you planted in the past. So this is bringing you unexpected income. You have a 27 here. Eight, nine, nines represents moving on and happiness. We have official person. So this person is coming in. I told you somebody's going to express themselves and possibly on, on social media that you are their woman, how much they love you, how much you had helped them change. And like I said, bring back, you know, get them out of their shadow side, you know, releasing, helping them escape from the dark side, escape from the devil is what I'm hearing. And I feel that this person is coming in and they're wanting to give you a commitment. You have the higher fit card coming out. This represents commitment. Okay. So you have a 22 here, which is twos represents um, union as well as balance. We have bad health. So some of y'all could have been experiencing as situations as far as your health. This could also represent energy as far as, like I said earlier, somebody being physically as well as mentally ill. So there could have been a karmic or a family member or a friend that this person was involved with that was physically as well as mentally ill. And they were also draining because it caused this person to... to latch on their energy in a certain way that drains you scorpio or drains your masculine and your feminine is what i'm hearing so this is there this also represents energy as far as let's say if in the past scorpio women or scorpio man you had issues as far as when it comes to fertility um as far as having a child i feel that this is a brand new beginning and you're going to be su surprised on how fast that you end up being pregnant is what i'm hearing you have a 31 here which is a four fours represents uh stability somebody could also be expressing yourself to expressing that they are having issues as far as when it comes to their health is what i'm hearing t-shirt and my panties on yeah wow two songs with um talking about t-shirt sex making okay this person wants you in a t-shirt and just your panties on and then they gonna slowly take it off okay like i said somebody gonna be in oh my goodness I i'm let me get out of y'all sexual energy okay <laughs> because i'm feeling it so forgiveness so this person is coming in and asking for forgiveness you're if this is you scorpio you're asking your masculine your feminine for forgiveness for your reckless behavior um again letting go healing it says growth and compassion you have a 23 here which is a five fives represents conflicts that brings change so there could be somebody y'all of y'all that you know when this person is coming in, they let go. Like I said, they're toxic ways. They have healed themselves. They have grown as um, um, as an individual. Again, compassion shown between one another. So pleasure. So yes, yeah, sexual healing. Come on, come on. You know, you know what they say. What what is that? Um, uh, makeup sex. I feel like you and this person is gonna be having some makeup sex. This person is like, you know, we ain't had sex in a long time. And I feel that this is a point where me and you should just, you know, somebody seems to really talk somebody off their mm -hmm. panties, but it's in a good way. Okay. And I feel that it's a, it's like both of y'all are wanting this and both of y'all are needing um, this intimacy with one another. You have a 10 here, which represents completions. Ones represents um, new beginnings. So it says enjoyment, beauty, sensational and then in um indulging so not overindulging in food and alcohol again this person possibly had an issue with drugs and alcohol in the past are overindulging in lustful things again multiple women multiple um men sexual fantasies and that could again cause them to be more in their um negative energy is what i'm getting from this you have family so this person sees you as their family they see you as home this is you um you know this person coming in and wanting to build a family with you they have always seen you as home. Okay. Belonging, community, culture, and tribe. You have a two, how I said earlier about our ancestors working together 
in the spiritual realm to help bring certain things together and complete certain missions. So this is clarifying for me that I said that for a reason to confirm what I meant by that. So we have air here. So this represents energy as far as communication. So making sure that um, an air sign can be very significant. So this could be Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. Gemini season, so communication coming in. Um, you have a 25 here, which is a seven. Sevens represents mystery, DNA activation, seeing signs, synchronicity. Um, you know, getting dreams in the spiritual realm. Watch all of the air signs, the end of May readings. So Aquarius, Gemini, as well as Libra readings, even though you don't have it in your chart, watch it because it's going to give you some type of message. Okay. Mars. So Mars could be very significant. Watch whatever Zodiac is in your Mars placement as far as your birth chart. Mars also represents energy as far as Aries. It also represents energy as far as the tower. So having a tower moment, this is a 17, which is an eight. Eights represents movement. So there's a sudden shock. And how I said earlier, there could be a sudden shock as far as this person, you know, expressing themselves on social media. And this person possibly has never did that before. And this is really telling you that this person is in their feelings as far as when it comes to how they really truly, um, how much you really truly mean to them, okay, is what I'm getting from this. So you have pyramid of light so it says step your vibrations deeper into love so this person is heart chakra is opening up your heart chakra is opening up scorpios now again your ancestors you're using the pyramid energy is what i'm hearing is shifting is what they're just telling me the pyramid any energy is shifting the song that's on right now is on day you'll one day you'll get it high valley so we have portal of life. So it says she guides on wings through time and space. So some of y'all could be time travelers. Um, some of y'all could have um, the gifts of as far as teleporting is what I'm getting because once these this energy of the pyramid switches, a lot of y'all are going to be gaining powers and this could be a sudden shock and tower moment to you because you were not aware that you are such a powerful person is what I'm hearing. So some of y'all are getting ready to have certain things opening up um, by the end of this year, okay? And again, a, a portal, I feel that somebody is going to be able to teleport. Love life. This came out in my Pisces reading. So yes, this definitely has to do with a love situation. Most definitely. Apology. Apology. Love situation. For sure. This person's love life. Them per realizing that you are the love of their life. They have never loved anybody the way that they love you. Okay. We have um, Celtic. So uh, the Celtic... The, you could be very significant. Some of y'all could have had past lives back in those days. Again, pagan earlier when I was talking about the witches and the stuff that happened back in the day with the pagan in Salem and all that stuff. That's when this stuff was happening as well. Um, so some of y'all could be studying again on the cross. What's the truth? If the finding out the, tro the cross is pagan is what I'm hearing. And this could be something that could be a tower moment to some of y'all realizing the, the, the meaning of certain uh, religious beliefs is what I'm hearing. Okay. And so hopefully this reading resonates with you. And before I let you go, be I start singing that song in the other reading. Before I let you go away, can I get a kiss? Good night. Okay. So... <laughs> The next reading that's coming, Scorpios, um, again, thank you for being here. Like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment if this video resonates with you. If it does resonate, does did not resonate with you, make sure you try your other placements um, and then make sure you watch all the air readings in your Mars video. And there go an air sign. Aquarius, you're next. Baby. <laughs>